Up next, <laughs> up next, we've got the one and only Harrison Pride. And let me tell you, the first time I saw his act tonight, I was blown away, and I'm still thinking about it. I don't know how he does this, so he's going to give you guys some magic, all right? So here's Harrison. That's better. All right. Um, I have to apologize. I've never had one of these things like in my field of vision before. I feel like some sort of weird televangelist. Um, Pour me a drink, please. <laughs> I assure you. All my magic can, can be completely explained. Um, so I'm going to begin uh, today, as all good magic tricks start, by asking someone to take a card. In fact, I'm going to be using the judges table for this. Ooh, there's four of you. My gosh, that's magical. You've already multiplied. Um, <laughs> So uh, go ahead, uh, Nick and take a left deck or the right deck? Um, to the left. Okay, left one it is. Well, my left, not your left. Well, that doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I want you to just go ahead, I want you to open up that deck, go ahead, just shuffle the cards. I'm going to do a quick thing over here I while you're doing it. You can't shuffle very well. You, it can be chaotic. Can just, like, just like mix them up? Yeah, just mix them up. The order doesn't necessarily. I'm not necessary. good at shuffling, okay? I'm not a good shuffler. It's, not, it's just He's a, a hustler, dovetail, come on, man. Shuffler. Did you pick me on purpose because I can't shuffle? No, I knew that about you. Okay. Magic. We've never met before. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and this is a completely, they're, they're both full decks of cards and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick one at random that feels particularly good. And go ahead, I'm just going to get rid of these ones. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> By the end of this, you'll know how to do it. So keep, keep going until you tell me to stop? Yeah, keep going until I tell you to stop. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> I'm a sadist. And... Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to write a couple things on this thing. My bumper. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, I'll show you there's a reason to all of this. I have a plan, I think. At least I hope I do. So what I've done is I've written a couple things on this particular card and I've folded it up and paper clipped it. I'm going to put it right here in this here wine glass. My grammar is amazing. Um, and I'm just going to keep that right there, so in plain sight. Now, I want you to go ahead and I want you just to go ahead and pick one card out of that particular stack of cards, all right? Do I show it to you? Uh, no, don't show it to me at all, but okay. just go ahead and pick it up. Uh, choose one, preferably with a lot of white space on it, although you don't need to, although it makes certain things a bit easier. I think a lot of them. Have go ahead and, space. yeah, a lot of them do. But don't grab like a face card. Go ahead and grab that card and take it out. Mm -hmm. Good, and I'll take the, the deck from here. And I want you to, on the very top part of the card, on the face of the card, that's the part of the card that's different on every single one, I want you to write just your name on the very top. My name? Yes, your name. In fact, sign it. My, my full name or just my first name? Nah, just the first name. Okay. It's a long, long last name, so I just want to know. I will entertain the crowd by doing waterfalls. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I want you to go ahead and take that card and the pen and, hey, pass it to the judge to your left. Judge to the left, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. I can shuffle too, by the way. All right, well, it's very hard to shuffle one card. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it very well. What I want you to do is to grab the Sharpie and uh, below his name, I want you to again to put your, your first name too and your last name if it's short. Um, go ahead and put that there. And beneath your name, I want you to put um, a number of some sort. It's like about mm, the size of your bank pin. Um, works just great. And um, go ahead and just put that number down on the cards after your name. And then after you're done with that, you may see a pattern arising. You're going to pass the card to the left. All right. Next judge. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? I'm feeling pretty jittery still. I'm really glad I visited the bathroom before this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want you to go ahead and I want you, as a surprise, put your name on the card. Okay. And then what I want you to do is, beneath your name, draw an emoticon. Now, those of you who don't know what an emoticon is, it's the bit of symbols not made of, or of letters and punctuation marks that looks like a face, like this. <laughs> so I want you to put an emoticon underneath your name. And then after that, you'll pass the card once to the left. Here you go. I hope you know the emoticon is. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right. Now, um, judge number four, uh, could you go ahead and guess what? Put your name on the card okay. for me. 
And then beneath your name, um, let's see, I hadn't planned for a fourth. Uh, go ahead and put a regular polygon on there, so a shape that has regular sides on each side. Um, so don't just put a squiggly line, because if I go, oh, I predict you'll draw a squiggly line, it's not that impressive compared to, you would draw a square. <laughs> Or a rectangle. I forget. My geometry is poor. The pen kind of turned it into a circle, but... That, that, <laughs> Whoa. It's a circle! Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take this card right here. So here's the card in question. Hey, camera, how's it going? Can you see it? All right, cool. So there's the card there. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to lose this into the deck. And in fact, I want you, my good friend, who can shuffle so much. Don't worry, I have a much easier task for you this time. I want you to hold on to this for me. Excellent. And I'm going to give you... This is awkwardly shaped in my pocket. This is not my pickup line. Um, <laughs> I want my you to gosh. go ahead... Hello. And, oh, my gosh. I want you to go ahead and just tape that deck closed. Are you sure? Yes. Gary gets like, that a lot. Just, just tape it, and you won't ever get into it. Well, yeah, that's the point. Okay. You owe me a deck, though. Damn it. So while he's doing that, I'm going to do an incredibly technical thing in Magic called making the trick longer. Um, now, the point of making the trick longer is twofold. One, if you find me incredibly boring, you'll be so glad I'm done, you'll applaud. And two, it actually makes a longer bit in a timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly kind of sense what just happened than what will happen. It will make what will happen compared to what just happened a little bit more amazing and amazing and stupendous and cool, given the how what just happened was a little bit boring, benign, and duh. Follow? Good, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of the oldest tricks in magic. It's called, you may be surprised, the bottle and glass trick. Um, now this is a very old trick that's over a hundred years old, and it's very simple. What you do is you take a bottle, you take a glass, and this is the technical bit, so I'm going to say it really slowly. You have to make sure the bottle is the same distance from the glass as the glass is from the bottle. Once you've done that, all you have to do is simply cover the devices with a yellow tube of sorts, although it could be orange, go beeves, and wave your hands above it and say the magic words, U of O sucks, and... Yeah. Yeah. They will have magically switched places. This is the part where you applaud. Yeah! I didn't know I had mind control. That's cool. All right, so that person over there is not impressed, or they're a duck fan, whatever. Um, I'll go ahead and switch him back. U of L sucks. And as we can see here, wait a second. Wait, yes, no, did I switch him back? No, I didn't do it. Okay, hold on, let me try it one more time with feeling. Go beefs! There we go, much better. Much better. Nothing in tube number one. Nothing in tube number, oh. Busted. I love this. Curtains, you do the curtains. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, it's very useful to have an extra bottle around when you're dealing with props that have glass and, and things like that. So really, just appreciate the pragmatic aspect about this trick right now, um, not necessarily the performance aspect about the trick. So once again, we're going to cover the bottle and the glass. We're going to snap our fingers, and they will switch places again. Whoa. Again, there's nothing in tube number one, and there is nothing in tube number two. <laughs> Son of I have to apologize about having the extra bottle. Here, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll do it just one-handed, one hand tied behind my back. I'm lying, it's not. I'm a magician, what do you expect? Juggling! Oh my god, I can do it. There we go. They switch places yet again. Now, of course, the issue here is when you do it with one hand, you have to keep in mind that you have to hide an extra bottle inside <laughs> of the tubes. Else you can kind of lose place really quickly. But once again, I'll do it one-handed for you. Woo! Exciting. And there goes the bottle, or the glass. But again, once again, one-handed, you have to hide the extra bottle inside of the glass and turn around. Okay, there we go. Now, at this particular point in the match, I'm kind of a little bit confused because all I see around me is just a bunch of bottles. <laughs> um, really, as much as it's great to have a bunch of bottles, you need a couple of glasses in order to get it done. So where did everything go? <laughs> I don't know. But the thing is, when you have all that extra kind of stuff around, you have to hide the extra bottle inside the yellow tube. So once again, when you do something like this, you have just the bottle and the glass. Now, at this point in the particular trick, I always like to try and flirt with my highly attractive and beautiful and handsome audience. How's it going, highly attractive, beautiful and handsome audience? 
You got to pander to him. It works really well. All right. But at this point, I, you know, hey, I want to come for a drink. But of course, all they see is just a drunkard with a bunch of bottles. So I'm usually just left to drinking by myself, which is not that bad because I always have an extra bottle hidden inside the tube. <laughs> but once again, I'm just all by my lonesome with no one to drink with me. But I'm not necessarily that worried. Wait, now I did lose my track of things. Where am I? What just happened? Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. So, like I said before, a drink. A good friend to me always said that we will always have a chance to make more money, but we will never have a chance to make more time. And so with that, I'd like to thank you for you spending your time watching me in hopes of entertaining you. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, as, as you may recall, the very beginning of the trick, amongst all the shuffling and the taping and the, wow, that's an amazingly good tape job. <laughs> I kind of just meant like once around one way and then once around the other way, but you can surround the whole thing like a chrysalis. <laughs> um, you gotta be more specific, man. It is my bad, my apologies. Uh, I should have specified, hey, only tape it once. Um, so, okay, here's our card right here. I'm going to go ahead and just take that out. Now, um, you picked a card out of the... Now, this is my list of predictions, as you recall. I made at the very beginning of the trick. What just happened This now we're at the part what, what will happen. It's very impressive now, I assure you. So, you grabbed a card out of the deck, correct? Yeah. All right, and uh, it's Yuri, right? Yep. All right, so you grabbed a red four of hearts, correct? Uh -huh. All right, that's the first part. Thank you. Julia. Wow, you actually went for the bank pen. Okay, so <laughs> you put down the number 4432, correct? Yeah, but it's not my bank pen. Oh, okay. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a shot. Says, so. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. Tonga, how are you? Still doing well? Doing well. Hello. All right, you kind of did kind of like a frowny face. It's like a frown upside down, but it has like the anime angry yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's really angry. Yeah, really it's like, angry mm, you're like, yeah, let this trick end. Yeah. <laughs> Self-depreciation, it always works. All right, and then finally, Mark. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about, it's an octagon, correct? Yeah. That's All right. Yeah. So let's think about that for a moment. So there was one out of 52 cards that I had chance. That was four numbers. There's 10 possible numbers. That's about 10,000. One of 52. I don't know how many emoticons there are. We'll say about 10,000. So now I'm about uh, 400,000. And then there's like, what, eight regular polygons. So there's a one in 3,200,000 chance I got this all right, correct? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm a yes, science student, yes. so you can trust me here. All right. So the cool thing is I didn't have to guess. Because is this your card in your handwriting? Yeah. Is that? Your signatures, yes. are those your numbers? Yep, that's All that's right, it. as you can call camera, how's it going? Hello again, how are you? Is this, this is the card that originally showed up? And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do a magic trick. Wow. I told you guys you'd be shocked, right? I told you. If you will step forward with me. Bye, Here's bottles. In. Thank you for that magic trick. I feel like we never get to see magic tricks anymore. Judges, no. what do you think? I mean, I saw some reactions back there, and I was kind of laughing at some faces you were making, but what do you think? Mark, do you want to start? That, that was magical, all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I forgot I was at a talent show, and I thought I paid to watch a magic show, so that, that was great. Uh, very talented. Thank you. So it's Harrison? Correct. Like the actor, except I'm way cooler. <laughs> I was gonna or say, the president, if you're a history buff. You are very charming, Harrison. Very Aww. charming on your show. Thank you for that. <laughs> you get extra points. Um, yeah! I really like how comfortable you were up there. It was great to see you comfortable and moving around, also interacting with us. And the creativeness was just mind-blowing, literally. I was wondering where all the bottles were coming from. The but, table. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you for that. It's like, Jesus, hey, low fishes, I can just do the water wine. <laughs> that works, that works. How'd you do that? Um, so it's a combination. So uh, the bottle one's a little bit technical to explain, but really with the card one, there was a combination of a mercury fold and then a false, pa a false pass and then simply a false swipe at the very end and then I just read off the things. You have great hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know me good. <laughs> Thank you. That was really, really entertaining. And, and like Mark, I lost where we were. I just got caught up in the mess. Yeah. So thank you. That was fun. Oh, thank you. Can you do some more for us? <laughs> Something else? 
I, I can do a okay. silly hand trick. Okay, don't worry about it. Well, <laughs> I've, I've, I've worried. I mean, I've watched a, I've watched a lot of. Um, I'm gonna take my cards back. Oh yeah, here you go. This is gonna take the rest of the night to fix. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. You gotta specify, man. You gotta specify. I, uh, you know, yeah. It's so I've, wa I've watched um, uh, so other acts like this before, and you, you did a really great job of keeping the crowd entertained and engaged, and the judges as well. The whole thing was perfect. It was, it was seamless. Um, I was disappointed that you didn't pour me a drink. I mean, that's the only thing. I could... I'm disappointed you did this. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> Let's give it up for Harrison, everybody. Touche. Of Thank course, you, you know, the, really, the one way this could be amazing is if when I pulled all this tape away, there was something magically inside that was yours. <laughs> there isn't, but that'd be really yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One last round of applause for Harrison, everybody. All right.